Welcome back to another video style crew. If you're new here, I am Rio. And today's video is gonna be all about H&M. Before we hop into these outfits, I wanna let you guys know that today's video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. Although if I'm being honest with myself, I really do wish it was. H&M, if you see this, hit your boy up i just i just had to do that all of these pieces were purchased by me some of you may have seen the video i did where i was doing some online shopping at h&m some of the pieces that you see here will be from that haul but i've also went back and did some more shopping online that i of course didn't film and i picked up quite a few more items so everything you see here will be something that i picked up recently in the past month all these items should still be available if not online maybe in your nearest h&m store however all outfits will be linked down below in the description section so if you see anything you like feel free to scroll down there click that link and see if it's still available so i have six casual outfits for this fall season if you're liking this video at any point Make sure you hit the thumbs up button, the like button. Hit that, it lets me know that you're enjoying this video. It also helps promote the channel and allow others to see videos like this as well. Drop a comment down below letting me know which outfit was your favorite. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to come back for more videos. Anyway, let's get into the outfits. Outfit number one, as you can see, I took more of an achromatic approach to this one. Simple black and white, black jeans, white t-shirt, a black shirt and jacket, and some black and white old schools. This is a very easy outfit to pull off, of course. The main highlight with this outfit, of course, being the jacket. This jacket, I believe, costs 80 bucks and for what you get for that price it's really not a bad option it is full shearling of course you can get something that costs more and of course it can be real fur but for this option it's more environmental friendly and if we're just going for the overall aesthetics of it of course as i mentioned it's an amazing option the black jeans is not like my usual with this one i decided to go more of a relaxed slim fit usually as you guys know i will probably do a skinny jean but the relaxed trend has been in for some months now and i thought i would just take that approach with some of these outfits all in all i think they still look really great i just put a double cuff in them so they just weren't really drowning over the shoe the jacket's a size medium the t-shirt is a large for more relaxed fit the pants are a 32 and the shoe <laughs> the shoes are a size 11 but they're not h&m of course as i mentioned black and white very simple easy to wear colors but hopefully you guys can grab some inspiration from this one Outfit number two, I wanted to introduce some more colors. So we have some earth tones, which of course are fall colors. The base of this outfit will be the sneakers, which are the Rookie of the Year Air Jordan 1s. I completely based this outfit off of these kicks. The highlight of this outfit will be the flannel, which complements the sneakers really well. The flannel has that black and wheat tones in it, which of course the sneakers feature as well. I threw on a zip up hoodie, which is a kind of a creamish color. They're extremely close to that sale colorway in the sneakers. So I just thought it just gave it a really good pop. And I just threw a white t-shirt underneath just to kind of break those tones up a little bit. The denim are a dark wash jean with the contrasting stitch, which is in a wheat lightest brown color, which of course complements the sneakers and the flannel as well. And yeah, I just, I like the way it looks a lot. The denim could have been black, which I think would have worked as well, but I really like the way the dark denim look. It just gave it more of a separation. I've mentioned in the past, one thing I love about zip ups is that you can even zip up the hoodie and give it a different look just by taking a different approach to it and I cannot get this zipper to work. Go in there, you're embarrassing me. There we go. So as you can see, different approach gives it a slightly different look. The flannel is a size medium, the hoodie is a size medium, the jeans are 32 and they are in a slim fit. And as you can see, this slim fit fits a little bit slimmer than the black denim that I had on in the first outfit. And this is actually how I would prefer my slim jeans to fit. I wouldn't really do much altering to these because I think they're perfect. Outfit number three is a little outside of my wheelhouse. So at this one, I'm trying to play around with some colors and also more of the relaxed silhouette. I don't, I don't know if it's really working for me. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this look. With these sneakers, as you can see, I have some yellow vans. I decided to use a yellow because I thought it provided a decent complement to the khaki chinos and the yellow detailing in the flannel. I wanted to utilize navy as my base for my sneakers, but I decided to just try to play around with it a little bit. I think the navy would have looked a little bit better, but again, I'm just trying some things out. As you can see, the pants are gonna be slightly bigger than you're probably used to or accustomed to seeing me wear. And I wanted to try it for these looks, but I don't know if it's me. I can play around with it a little bit here and there, but 
it's not necessarily my style. I put a double cuff in the pants for the same reason I did in outfit number one, mainly because it was gonna drown out the shoes if I didn't. I have a gray t-shirt on, which is a size medium. The pants are a size 32, slim, and then the flannel is a size medium as well. All in all, it's not necessarily a bad look. Of course, the pants don't fit exactly where I would prefer them to, and these shoes being yellow is a little bit outside of my normal. I probably would've did a navy, like I mentioned. This is kind of really the trend as things have been lately, especially with streetwear. So I thought I'd try to incorporate it in some outfits. With outfit number four, I wanted to play with some more of those earth tones a little bit. With this one, we have some tan pants, a lightest beige button up shirt with the beige corduroy trucker jacket. And the white sneakers just kind of break it up a little bit. As you can see, slightly monochromatic. I'm really digging the overall color balance of this particular fit. Let me know what you think down below in the comments about this one. The pants are slim in a size 32. The shirt is a size medium. What I like about the shirt the most is just simply how light and breathable it is. And the jacket is a medium as well. The white sneaker may not be the first choice for fall, but if the weather is not super bad, if it's not really rainy, if it's not super wet outside, this is an option that you may be able to get away with. With outfit number five, I recycled the same jeans and t-shirt from outfit number two, just to kind of give it more of a similar structure. Baseline, we have the red Chuck Taylors, OGs, the same dark denim jeans, as I mentioned, the most versatile wash that you can have, the same white t-shirt. This time we have a navy zip up hoodie with the red and navy flannel. It's really simply all about just finding those tones that kind of complement each other. Of course, the white t-shirt breaks up the navy zip up, but if we zip that, there we go. So if we zip that, we create more of a longer line of navy. And then we can just pull that white t-shirt out to break those colors up to give it some separation. This is probably how I would prefer to wear it. And for this, you can even do a pullover hoodie. Of course, the zip just gives you more flexibility and more versatility. What I love most about this outfit is simply how the flannel sits on top of the navy zip up and how it just complements the rest of the look. The red, of course, just gives us that pop down on the base, and then it just kind of works from there. As I've mentioned, the jeans are 32 slim, white t-shirt is a size medium, medium zip up hoodie, and a medium flannel as well. This outfit is gonna give you similar color structure as outfit number two, which is different colors and color balance. And with this look, you can also throw on a denim jacket to give it more layers as well. I, I just didn't purchase one with these outfits. So for our sixth and final outfit, I wanted to bring in more of those earth tones. Of course, it's fall, so earth tones is usually a staple. We have a light beige pullover hoodie, these kind of darkish brown, a very weird color in the pants, and these are also gonna be in slim fit. Pants are sitting on top of some black and gold Jordan 1s, which are the mellow ones. As you can see, I don't really have much of a layer separating it, although I do have a white t-shirt, which if you, you could, wear a longer t-shirt or an oversized t-shirt to give it some separation. The shirt I have on is a medium, which can still work, but I think I like it better without anything breaking up those colors. And that's really just a personal preference. I can go either way, but I think I like it better when it's just kind of more of a, um, a smoother transition. So unlike some of the previous outfits, those were more about complementing colors and balancing colors. It's a slight take towards a monochromatic look. Of course, the two browns being from the same color family, and then the gold is giving it that splash of some complementary value. For sizing, we have a size medium in the hoodie. I think I mentioned the size of the t-shirt already, also a size medium, a size 32, slim in the pants. These are also the same kind of pants that we had in outfit number four. All in all, it's a decent look. I think some of the others may be my favorite, but let me know what your opinion is. We've seen all six. Drop down below which one is your favorite. That completed all six outfits. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you drew any inspiration or like anything that you saw in this video, drop a comment down below letting me know what that was. Also hit the video with a like as well. If you guys would like to see me do any more videos like this with any other brands or maybe even H&M again, we can get this video to a thousand likes. I will do some more videos just like this. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Follow me over on Instagram. The link is right here, also down below in the description section. If you made it to the end of this video, comment fall is here, just so I can know you made it to this point. Thanks again for watching. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace.